Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the biggest bass I think I've ever hooked into. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm out here at Nelson by myself. Before I get started fishing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click my logo on the bottom right side of the screen to subscribe, like and comment on this video, and I'm gonna get to it. So what I got rigged up right now, quarter ounce jig head, black and blue, with the black and blue flake I'm going to try that out and see if we can smack some fatties. It's pretty windy out, so if the audio quality is pretty bad, I'm sorry about that, but it's Sunday and <clears throat> it's the last day to make some footage and get some footage and catch some fish for you guys before the work week begins. So enjoy. Cast, I hope. There's one, juicy one, boys. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, wow. Wow, might have to turn that drag on. Get a jump. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh. Fish. Oh wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the biggest bass I think I've ever hooked into. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. Stay down, boy. Holy. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that pig. Look at the mouth on that bad boy. That's got to be over three for sure. Look at that hog. I'm gonna let it go right away though. Look at the mouth on that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> hooked into a bass that was probably a little over three pounds. Nice fatty to start the day off. I actually originally changed my craw from like a lime, it was like a lime green craw to a black and blue. So I think the black and blue is definitely where the way <clears throat> where it's at. This is literally all I'm using, quarter ounce jig, black and blue craw on there. Casting out and just letting it kind of drift, twitching it once in a while. The current through here is pretty nice, so the water just does most of the work. I get it right up against those rocks and just let it drift down. Yeah, you really don't have to do much when this current like this. Get it up against the rocks, kind of more in the more shallow spots. They'll see it kind of bouncing off the rocks. And... Oh, yeah. Make them chase it down, you know? 
so I just got snagged. I had to change my stuff up a little bit. This time I tied on a 3A sounds black and blue jig. And then I put a natural colored bandito bug on there. So I'll see if you guys can, uh, it's kind of what it looks like. Still got the, the claws on it. Nice and green, should blend in nice. Should have a little more time to let it kind of drift without getting snagged up, so. Go get to it. <clears throat> Cast it out right away, oh boy. Nice, juicy, juicy boy. It's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Bad. Not as big as the first one I caught, but so not bad. Oh, we choked that bandito bug. Choked it. GoPro died in the middle right after I caught this bad boy, but just a little little dinker. Let her go though. Second fish of the day. Feisty little guy. What's up everybody? I'm about to head out of here. Just finished up here at Nelson. I caught uh, two bass on the day. I was only out here for about two hours. That first fish I did catch was well over three pounds for sure. I didn't have a scale, but I'd have to guess it was well over three pounds. One of the bigger bass I've ever caught, so that was nice. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do so. Just click the, there's a little logo at the right bottom side of the screen just click that and it should say subscribe it should take you there uh thank you guys so much for watching go check out my other videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one